Warning, this video blog or vlog may contain harsh language and opinions that are not necessarily in line with YouTube or its partners or affiliates. YouTube does not openly endorse the content of this vlog. All opinions are expressly those of Ranting Ramsey and do not reflect on the opinions or values of YouTube, its affiliates, or its parent or partner companies. Greetings internet people, Ranting Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? Today, um, today I'd like to talk about an experience that I had recently um, in, in going to the movie theater. Now, it's, it's not something I generally do very often. I don't generally go and catch movies in the theater. There's a very few select um, series of movies or, you know, uh, franchises, I guess you could say, that I, I intentionally try to catch in the theater because I like them that much. But um, on the general average, I don't really go and try to catch movies in the theater that often. And um, I actually went to uh, went to my wife and I went to the theater on uh, on um, on Christmas. Thank you, on Christmas, and um, we uh, we saw the new Tron movie because going to the theater on Christmas is kind of a um, kind of a tradition for us. It started, I want to say, three or four years ago, if not a little bit more back than that. There was a movie that was released on Christmas that we really wanted to see, so we went and saw it, and it kind of became a little bit of a tradition. So we went and we saw the new Tron movie, and, um... Get on with it! The, 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 the general experience in the theater is what, um, what, what I'm really actually kind of on about. And it started from really the, the, from the first minute of trying to buy the ticket, is where everything started. And this actually really made me angry. Um... And, and what happened was, we, uh, it, of course, the Neutron movie is being shown in both 3D and in 2D. So we go up to buy our tickets, and we say uh, we want, you know, for the, what was it, the 115 showing of Tron. And they, uh, the cashier actually bothered to point out that if we waited, like, half an hour, we would be able to watch it in 3D. And I said, that's okay. I don't really want to watch it in 3D. And then the, um, the, the clerk actually bothers to still not ringing up my requested purchase, then gets into a rhetoric with me and goes, well, I saw it in both 2D and 3D, and it's way better in 3D. You should really see it in 3D. And I said, I appreciate your opinion. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, but I don't care for 3D movies. I'd rather just watch a traditional movie because I'm an old fogey like that, I guess. Whatever. 3D doesn't really do it for me. And and then he once again said, really? Are you sure? In my opinion, you're missing out. And that's when I just kind of snapped. And I said, well, you're not getting paid to sell me your opinion. You're getting paid to sell me a fucking movie ticket. So sell me the goddamn fucking movie ticket for the showing that I asked for. And please stop badgering me. Um, my wife looked a little embarrassed at that point. But the guy actually shut up, duly admonished, and uh, rang up our ticket purchase. And we moved on. And the um, the next real real agitation I had was the same one that everybody always has. I, I I contemplated for a moment buying something from the concession stand, and then saw the prices and said, "Skip it." So, and that's what I'm going to do at this point is just skip on. And other uh, the, the next thing that really got to me was there was like 20 minutes of commercials before the 15 minutes of previews even started. I mean, those of you who go to the movie all the time, you're accustomed to this, is nothing new to you, but for someone like me who only goes to the movies maybe once or twice a year, if that often, um, this is, seems like new developments to me. I'm like, what? When did they start doing this? So I have to sit and watch 20 minutes of commercials for TV programs I won't watch, and behind the scenes for movies I'm not interested in seeing, and all this other crap, and then I get forced to watch 15 minutes of previews, 75% of which are for movies that I have absolutely no interest in seeing whatsoever. And that that's just, you know, irritating. And as I almost always do in the theater nowadays, when the actual movie starts, I turn to whoever I'm with in the theater, and I'm one of those annoying people, but only for just one moment, and that I speak loud enough to make sure at least half the theater can hear me, and I say, what movie are we here to watch again? I forget. 
it usually gets a few chuckles. But yeah, I'm one of those annoying people. But that's it. I don't really spend the whole time talking, just for that one moment. And then, here's the thing that really got me irate about my recent theater experience. At what point in time did it become requisite for the theater to be deafeningly loud? Now, keep in mind, as you can see, by right there, I am a musician. I've performed live many, many times. I've performed live on stages with extremely powerful sound systems. I am not unaccustomed to extremely loud noise. I've, I, I've been in front of huge speaker stacks on stage. I've, I've worn headphones blastingly loud in the studio. All kinds of crap like that. So it's not like, oh, I never exposed myself to loud noises. Not at all. Hell, I grew up on Air Force bases for most of my life. C-130s landing daily. So it's not like I'm not used to loud noises, but I was sitting there in the theater and I, I just, it was painful, the amount of just, it's almost like basically the sound effects and the dialogue are almost seems like they were on two completely separate audio tracks because the sound effects were so loud and booming and almost making my ears bleed that half of the time when there was any kind of dialogue during an action sequence, you could not understand the dialogue like anyone who's seen the Tron movie, um, the new one. Um, there's a scene where they're speaking in the arena and there's this echo. If uh, Maybe it's just the theater I went to that absolutely sucks. I don't know. But um, if, um, if you've seen this movie in the theater, you remember the scenes where they're speaking in the arena, game room, game grid, whatever. And there's this echo, and i got to be honest, I couldn't understand a word that was being said for the echo. As soon as the echo started, it became unintelligible. So I actually got up about, I want to say it was during the first light bike scene where he's in the, the light cycle battle and um, I, I couldn't take it any longer. I got up and I went back and I said, could you absolutely please turn down the sound in the theater number five? It, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it's giving me a headache. I can't even hear myself think about the movie I'm watching with the sound this loud. And so I went back and there seemed to be a little slight change. It wasn't quite as painful. and um, But then, like, ten minutes later, someone in front of me got up and left, and they came back, and five minutes later, it seemed to get louder. And I just kind of thought to myself, no, there's no possible way. But, so I suffered through it some more. The next action sequence comes up, and once again, it's, like, deafeningly freaking loud. that I just can't even stand it. It almost feels like it's making my eyes rattle. So I get up again, and I, 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 I explain a little more forcefully. It is absolutely fucking retarded how loud the sound is in this theater. Just turn off the Dolby or something. Turn it down. Turn off the stereo expander. Whatever you're using to make it super loud, turn that off. I've, I have much experience with sound reproduction, so I know for a fact that you're using some sort of amplifier to make the original track louder. Just turn it off. Let us deal with the original track, please. You're fucking killing me. And they seem to get the point. I go back, and it's actually tolerable for about another half hour, 45 minutes. At this point, we're into the last 15 minutes of the movie, and that same asshole gets up, walks out, and comes back in. And sure enough, about two minutes after he sits back down, the shit gets loud as fuck again, right during the climactic action sequence. And at this point, I couldn't fucking take it anymore. I stood up, I walked down. I asked him to turn it down again, I said, turn it down or I'm going to demand my money back and make such a scene you would not freaking imagine right here in your movie theater on Christmas Day. Turn it down and leave it down or I swear you will regret ever selling me a ticket. And I walked back and I sat back down, but on my way back up, I made point to say to myself, to the other person, I said, I dare you to have him turn it up again and walked back to my seat. I heard some mutterings over my shoulder, but I really didn't care. And it seemed like after the movie was over and the lights came back on that the guy was lingering, trying to see who it was. And once he noticed me walking down the stairs past him, kind of glaring at him like, Say something. Nothing seemed to happen. Maybe I do still have a little bit of spark of the intimidation in, per in person that I used to have in high school. I don't know. But... That's pretty much my explanation of my experience at the movie theater. My general rating is it was absolute shit. It does not make me want to go back to a movie theater to see anything. And my once again, the main gripe is the sound. We don't need to have it that fucking loud, people. It does not 
add to the enjoyment of the film. Quite to the contrary, it detracts from it. Now, for those of you who I know are going to ask what my opinion on the Tron movie itself was, um, I will say my opinion is damaged due to the fact that the sound issues was going on. It severely detracted from my enjoyment of the film, and I'm conscious of the fact that my opinion of the film is denigrated by that. There are things that if I went back and watched it again at a reasonable volume, I would probably like it more than I did. Um, as it stands right now, I give it like you know maybe three, three stars or three three face huggers out of five, whatever. Um, maybe three and a quarter, you know. But if I were to go back and watch it again, it may maybe go up to as much as uh, four stars. It's a great, it, it's a fun movie. If you know the original story, it's a great continuation. There's a few very um, typical things, but most of the shit that they did was was decent. It was decent. I just didn't enjoy my initial viewing of it because of the horrible sound situation. So, there you go. That's my opinion on the theaters right now. It absolutely, they, they fucking suck. Mostly because you have to pay too much for the ticket, you have to listen to some asshole telling you what movie you should see, and then you have to fight with other viewers about how, what the requisite volume of a movie should be. I mean, it shouldn't be to the point where any one person in the theater is going, wow, that physically hurts my fucking ears to listen to it. Alrighty, there you go, there you have it. I'm Ramsey, that's my rant. That is all. Hey, did you get all that, man? Douche.